got to ask, what was, what was it like working on one of the most successful movies of all time? It was, it was a tour de force. It um, took quite a bit of time. We had a location in um, Norway, in, fin on, in Finsa, which was the highest glacier in Norway. And it was um, minus 40 degrees when we got out there in February. So the only thing we could do was stick the camera in the base of the hotel and open the door at the back and throw Luke Skywalker into a snowdrift. <laughs> and that was the first shot we got. That was the very first one. Yeah, at nine th I think nine o'clock on the, on the first day of shooting, which was extraordinary because otherwise it would have been, took ages to get anything else done. And then I had my team of effects people there and we had to do explosions in the snow where you make an explosion in the snow and you can't see anything, it just goes up and comes down. So we had to put bags of cement dust right. and then blow those up so you've got to create something grey and um, we had to use um, bits of paper for some of the snow stuff because it was biodegradable because we couldn't um, put anything on the glacier that was uh, and the one thing I noticed going up to the top was everywhere it was covered in little tiny black spiders tiny spiders black with black legs and they moved really slowly on the on the ice. Oh wow, you they were that. black, yeah. so the sun would warm them up when they got the chance, I suppose. Yes, that is. Anyway, that's, that's, that's just an observation. So, sorry. And then, and we, so we were filming at um, L Street on the big stage there, and then I went out to ILM to Industrial Light and Magic to do some of the other stuff. What, what was that like? That was excellent. Yeah, yeah. A good team of people out there. Great team, and it all came together eventually. I think we did about 400 or 500 shots in total, and we had a good team of people. It was great fun. So, what? What's George Lucas like? We're, we're you know working on set with Mr. Lucas. We did one. We did one shot where R2 D2 gets swallowed by the swamp monster, and then he, he's actually got a, a little periscope comes up, and then that disappears. We shot that in George's swimming pool wow. in San Rafael. Um, and we got liquid nitrogen on the top to make it all misty and everything. And all I had was a little aluminium rod that was bent with a, with a little periscope on the end of it. Really simple. I just walked along the side of the thing. And George was there and Richard Edlund was on the camera. And George said, right, let's do this. Right, here we go. Right, right take one take. One and, take. And, yeah, we did, actually did two. One take, got it. Because so he knew exactly where he was going to so cut not it. faster and more intense. As no, he no, 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 no. <laughs> what he wanted, he explained what he wanted and hopefully I gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I think so because it's yeah. a great movie so yeah. yeah um, so my, my final question is um, the special effects back then compared to today, where, how, how do you compare the industry and uh, where do you see it going? Well in those days there wasn't any CGI, it was just the starting CGI on a couple of projects but nothing to do with us. Um, and then, of course, what happened after that was there was a revolution in CGI. And films, the camera moves on films got completely radical. And you, you knew it wasn't a real shot because of the way the camera was moving. I don't know why they did that. George was never one of those sort of people. Um, so it was hard work when we did it to remove rigs and things. And, whereas today, you just use CGI and there wouldn't be a rig of any sort. Um, but other than that, if, if directors would not make radical, radical moves and they'd enhance the CGI with models and CGI, I think that's the best result that yeah. is being done. But perhaps we're going a little bit full circle with like The Force Awakens where J.G. Abrams used more practical effects and yeah. perhaps we'll see a trend of other yeah. directors doing Absolutely. the same thing. I think so. Yeah. Which would be oh, a bad thing. Yeah. Thumbs up for that. Well, thanks for spending a couple of minutes uh, just answering a few questions. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Be the trip. Thank you.